Hi, it's Jess with Mystique Uniques, and I'm doing a video response for Juju on her not waiting for 50 subbies giveaway. <laughs> Hi, Judy. Um, I just finished your project, um, and this is my first altered tin, and I hope you like it. Um, what I did was I painted um, the tin an antique color, antique linen I think it's called or something, and then um, I put on this pretty lace right here if you can see. Just on the top I put this lace. It's this one here I'll show you. I tried to put just one flower that it had on the um, on the top here and you can't really see it because I covered it with stuff but yeah I put that on there and then what I did was um, let me see the second thing I did I took let me see this light um, that's better um, what did I do with it? I got a whole bunch of organza ribbons from, here it is, from TJ Maxx. And I put this one here. It's it's really pretty. It's It looks orange, but I think it's kind of peach color. You said you like peach color. So I put wrapped that a couple times around the, the edge of the tin on the top. And then I covered that with this really pretty ruffle lace. And then I just added, um, this is some, uh, what are they, not silk flowers, but petals from this one flower stem that I got. I took them off and I put two. And then I cut out this paper flower with my slice machine. And then I got this pretty little uh, crocheted flower from, what was it, it was from, Jane at Altered Junkie, so I put that on there, and this is the paper pack that I used for that flower. It's called Splendor by GCD Studios, and it was this really pretty one here. It's got roses on it. You said you liked roses. So I did two of those actually. There's one down here too. And um, these right here, aren't these cute? They're foxgloves. And I just kind of added those. And then I had a little paper flower here. And um, an acrylic peach rose here, which I don't know if you can tell. It's a little darker peach than that. And then I put a little, a little butterfly here. It's got netting and a little rhinestone. And I glued some pearls the pearl strand kind of wrapped it around. It's kind of underneath this one here. And then I fussy cut out a little fairy. What would it be without having a fairy? And um, she's kind of playing on, I think those, you know, those might be bluebells, but they kind of look like um, the foxgloves too. So she's kind of hanging on that and playing. So I put that on there. And let's see what else. Um... Then on the inside, I put some more of this paper, and I just decoupaged it so it would stay. You can see. And then on the inside bottom, I did as well, and I added a little butterfly. It's a sticker, but it has an acetate that can come up. And so when you put stuff on it, if you keep stuff in here, it won't, it won't matter because you can still bring it back up if you want. And um, I did the same thing. I put decoupage this paper in there. And then on the bottom, I did the same. And I added these cute little bling. Uh, I hate those stickies from the glue gun. They get everywhere, the strands. And I put little feet on it for you. They're just little bling acrylic uh, flat backs. So there is your little box, my very first altered box. I hope you like it. And um, I will get this out for you. I think we're. I'm going to drop it off at the post office tomorrow. And I hope you like it. And up oh, there go the doggies. Oh, okay, better stop. 
And if you haven't checked out uh, Juju Pam's uh, channel, I'll put the link down below and for her giveaway. I don't, I can't remember if it goes through. Okay, it goes through the 16th, so you still have time. I'm going to go ahead and enter it. All right, well, thank you. Bye, Judy.